Once again, any of you who have purchased a first stop is the first stop on the downhill ride. Welcome to Silverbloom, Colorado. Elevation 9,178 feet.
sewer flow, then be back in Denver in time for supper. Now the railroad was running at least seven passenger trains. <laughs> That by 1939, the railroad had filed for bankruptcy. And by 1942, well... Yard just to the west of our water tower, about 300 yards, the Argentine Central was born. Off to the right side of our train is the Leavenworth Mountain. Now the old grade's still there, used for hiking and biking.
outside of our train. This is basically what we refer to here in the loop as our outfield. As because about 10 car lengths down the tracks on the left side through the pines is a small aspen grove. down the mountain valley. Hold your cameras up high or you might just get a shot of the end. Thank <laughs> you. 
downhill from here. No, really it is. Now back in the 80s, the miners of Lebanon mine have brought out around $150 million. <laughs> Taken some of that silver ore, paved the downtown streets of Georgetown. But this is one and two are below us, Bill Financial Springwater, and four or five and six are above us. A little over 250 different shafts in that mountain alone. So, what do you get? How about a flat miner? On to the right side of our train, the Leavenworth Mountain. The man wanted to board through it to that little town of Waldorf I talked about earlier, bring all that wonderful gold and silver through the mountain to be loaded right here on the train and taking it over to the Yeah, if you're afraid of heights, 
Storm wing down. We're 100 feet above the creek. 35 feet above the lower track. Off to the right side of our train. It's a beautiful shot of downtown and Storm Georgetown with Saxon Mountain beyond that. Off to the left side. We see some small structures. Well, yes, they are. This is the remnant of the... Thank <laughs> you. 